So today we're going to be changing out the uh, IPR and uh, I think this trick hopefully will work. I've got an inch and one eighth socket here and sadly it's palladium coated so I'm going to try to weld off or not weld off, try to grind off the end of it to where I can actually weld a little stick of iron to it and I'm hoping that tool will make it a lot quicker to change this thing out. Everybody's saying you have to pull the fuel bowl out, all the fuel lines, all this stuff to get to it and I don't think you have to. should be pretty good for us to be able to weld our stick to it, but I'm going to go just a little bit more to make sure. Got one part started. Don't stop, I'll pick that. got our new IPR here and uh, this part's the part we're going to be unscrewing first on the truck that way the whole thing can come apart we we'll went back with the original motocraft so here's our fuel bowl and the part we're looking for is that part right there trying to get that nut off and we'll see if our little trick's going to work alright we got a T30 bit in our high pressure oil pump that we got to take out and we're going to attempt to drain this fluid the oil that's in it before we take out the IPR sensor because I'm kind of scared if we don't then we'll put about a quart of oil in the valley of the engine so we got this beautiful thing out of a dial soap bottle then we're going to find us a bottle that we can just pump it out of I'm hoping this will work Hey, look at there. Representing Lenny's. I love Lenny's. And you'll just keep pumping it until you get rid of all you can. Because I think it's going to be a lot of pumping going on. Let's get it. Alright, and I put a little white shirt, little rag, whatever, underneath the valley there. And now that we've got that part off, and you can do it with a, a three-quarter inch socket, this little part here you just have to finger loosen counterclockwise, and then you'll have part of the valve come out. So we got these two pieces off of our sensor, so now all that's left is the bigger nut, which we're going to use our tool that we made, and hopefully it'll work. And you might end up having to taper it out a little bit. Wish I would have known that before we welded it.
pretty dark, but we ended up getting the uh, thing out. And you can use that special tool. You don't have to remove any lines, any fuel pump, anything else. And we've got the uh, ICP sensor here. I think that's what it's called. We're about to replace it, and it ends up going... Let's see if I can hop up in there and take the camera. It takes a 1 and 1 16th inch wrench to do it. Let's see if I grab it from Sir Thomas. That sensor, and it is very dark. Let's see if our camera will even adjust to it. The sensor is right here. I don't know if it's going to be much help at all. But it's right on the driver's side head. There we go. It's got perfect lighting on it. And we just take that out. We're going to switch it out. Looks like mine's covering oil. Hoping that's the reason I don't have much power. And this is before we changed out the ICP and the IPR. So you can see you got your engine RPM on the top. The injector control pressure is about third one down. You can kind of see. So this is when I was stomping it extremely hard. and got up to 2400 RPMs. My PSI only got up to 1976. The duty cycle is at 64%, pretty dadgum high. So it looks a lot better after we changed out the sensors. And my check engine light actually has uh, not came on anymore, saying that the injector control pressure was higher or lower than what it was supposed to be. So we'll go to the live data meter here and let you check this out for a second. But we'll just pull up. This software is incredible. We'll do the engine RPM, the control pressure, and volts duty cycle. This will be the first five. And actually, this is when we were driving in the truck. But readings were so much better after we changed everything out. Especially between getting the actual pressure up. I mean, we weren't crawling much above 2,000. We're having those spikes when I was hitting right at three grand in between shifts and the duty cycle getting up in the 60s was just crazy. I mean, engine's doing a lot better without it. I mean, with the new ones. So this is after we replaced the uh, ICP and the IPR and this was auto ingenuity, I'm using it to measure some readings. Our injector control pressure is the very first one and the fourth one's engine RPM. But this is where we are stepping on it pretty good. We were at 2,500 PSI on the injector pressure and uh, 2,400 RPMs. And we were doing a duty cycle of 39.84, which was much better than the last thing. And on the uh, very bottom here, I had our exhaust back pressure. And it was at a 24.61 floored. And that was after we had cleaned it.